What's going on, guys? This is Sean back again with part three of our uh, drone mapping series. Uh, first part, we was able to map in drone link using the beta software for the DTI uh, Mini 3 Pro. Uh, second part, we actually went to the football stadium or the football stadium at the park, and we flew the mission with a couple of um, errors and a couple of failed missions. Well, not failed missions, but a couple of glitches that we had to continue on. And now we want to take those images and process them in some type of mapping software. Uh, the easiest one I found and the quickest one I found so far to install, or it's not even installed, this is a website. Um, and it's mostly free. And you'll see what I mean when I say mostly free. It is called Maps Made Easy. They also have um, drone piloting software, um, but I think you have to pay for that too. And I may do a video if I have enough likes. I may do a video on that software as well. Um, there's some other ones like Drone Deploy. They also have mapping software, but it's super expensive. I did have their website up, up here, but it's super expensive to even just use it for individual, um, not even like drone link. If drone link adds mapping uh, to their processing, it will be the best software ever, in my opinion, right? <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to Maps Made Easy. Their process is a little weird. I'm um, already logged in, created an account. You go to Dashboard, and you can see, like, the one I did. And, and the project that I'm going to show you guys is actually running in the background, but I'm going to have to redo it again because the video crashed on me. Um, I am on the pay-as-you-go plan where you use points. Um, and uh, it is a kind of confusing point system thing so as you can see here you can do 300 points for 799 you can do 1500 points 29 like it has different terms for your points here so depending on what you want to do 30,000 may be good like but that's 400 dollars. they can get 10,000 for this price um just depending on what you want to do right so um i'm trying to get away with using free points or if anybody has any coupons please let me know in the description below or in the comment section if you have any coupons for points. Um, but I'm not really here for the points. Um, um, what else do we have here? But like, like I said, you can um, go and use Map Pilot Pro to actually fly missions. You get If you become a subscriber, you can save a little bit on map processing. Um, but I don't even see the info for a subscriber right now. But, yeah, I, I, I may can do... Uh, some more things with that, but we get three mega, three gigapixels free for 15 days. And I think my 15 day is up. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. So I can go to new map and we're, and I'm using the DJI specific workflow. Use that. Okay. So here is where you want to uh, start your map. You want to create, you want to select a sample file. I was watching a video of a guy. He's really, really good. Uh, he was struggling with maps made easy and uh, hopefully I may tag him in here so you can see it. Um, I told him I will make a video on this subject shortly, but I may tag him in here so you can see it. You need to just upload a sample file. He was trying to upload all, all of his files. So you just, and I have my files here, you upload a sample. So one, so you'll know exactly what camera we're going to do expedited um, job time plus 12 hours and keep this in mind that it's probably not going to take 12 hours. It's probably going to be um, a lot faster than that. If you do ASAP, you're probably going to, have to pay points, but I already know like depending if you do it slower, it's less points, uh, less options over here, less points, less resolution, less point. We have native resolution. We have half resolution. So I'm going to do half because I don't want to spend any points. Um, also we have, you can automatically trim the deep, the edges for you. So it's not all for it to be more smooth. Uh, we get a flat map flat fell over. We get a KMZ file. We can get a full resolution OBJ. We can get full 3d. I'm not, not even going to do that because it's going to upload points. We may do full resolution OBJ. Um, I think that will work. We cannot do sketch fab unless we have a, a better plan, but that's fine. We don't need it right now. I can upload it to sketch fab myself if I need it to. Um, as you can see, it's just showing that um, I'm trying to keep it under one gigapixel because once it becomes a little bit bigger than that, we're going to have to pay. Um, and then right now I don't have the images up, but you can play around with these details. Depending if you want to spend a little money, you can to get these maps. But as of right now, I'm trying to keep it as free as possible because I already paid money for the drone. I already paid money for the Android phone and the software to be able to map on um, the DJI Mini 3 Pro because the SDK just came out and is in beta and is only for Android, okay? And I have the RC controller. So it really didn't matter, right? but but the RC controller, uh, you cannot install third-party apps on it, only the RC Pro, okay? All right, so now we go name and verify data. I'm just going to put 
uh, football two because I already did this before. So I'm just put football two, confirm, um, approve. And this is when you want to upload the rest of the images. So select all your images here, load them up in there. And as you can see, this one is saying it'll be 354 points. So, and this is the thing to keep in mind. If you see that it's going to cost you some points, go into the settings, uh, step two, and start playing around to see can you get it for free, right? So, see, uh, let's go to step two. And maybe we want to take the full resolution OBJ off. Um, let's go to normal. If you go to normal time, it takes it off. Let's put full resolution back on. Yep, full resolution OBJ back on. But if we go to normal time, as you can see, that it will be, if you go to um, here, we can be able to see it at this resolution here. All right, so now... What we'll do is, and you can see exactly where it's mapped at. This is where I was. It follows the exact same mission that I did. This is my mission that I flew. Yep, I did a horizontal, didn't do a grid pattern, and I ended it right here and landed back here. So this is great, guys. And you can see it on this Google Maps view of where I flew. You can see uh, what's going to be updated. Like, even I did a fly over this entire park. Like, we'll see it updated on here. This part is really, really cool. Um... And then once you have that, you go back here and then you just upload your images and then they will give you a time of when it will be complete. And normal, normal time, what it'll say is it won't start until the next day. Um, so if you look here, like when I first started, it said it wouldn't start until May 20th. And then like 10 minutes later, it actually started and it's going to finish in an hour. So right now it is 1.23 p.m. On, on May 19th and it's going to finish in about 35, 40 minutes. And this is what it's going to give me. So I'm going to let it finish the, pro the, the process. And once it finishes, it, we'll come back. Um, we'll come back and finish up this video. All right, everyone, we're back. And as you can see in my email, um, Maps Made Easy had emailed me uh, just a, the, the link to the map that they created. And no, it did not take... Uh, did not take uh, 24 hours, 36 hours. It took about two hours or maybe an hour. Uh, I think I did it at 1.15 or something. So as you see, it was finished around 2.22. Um, I'm back at the computer and let's take a peek at this map. Okay, so if we go in here, we can actually take a peek at it and look pretty accurate so far. Like even though I didn't have any GCPs, ground control points, look how accurate this is. This looks really nice guys like we actually let's scroll down a little bit and we actually look in here look at this this is pretty good detail too you can see my car right here it was a car right here um that was waiting right here even if it should be a car over here somewhere look at that it's a car over here with some oil spots like look at that guys look at that car hidden here um i know what car that was too but yeah it's look at this look at this detail this is really nice. You can go around, see the pavilion, the little small pavilion. It's not really a big pavilion here, but look at this detail. Okay, it's a little off right here. So we can look right here and we can see that the, the goal post is a little off with the stitching. But still, this is half resolution. Remember, um, half resolution, but this is really good. And if you want, if you pay a little money, and I think it would have been like $2 or so to get full resolution of this photo. That would have been great to scroll out. But look at look how it lined it up. And it's imagine if we continue to build all of this. We can build a better Google um, Maps. I think it's a project out there where everybody is putting in their images and they're building a better Google Maps. And if I find that, I think I'll try to link it below. Um, if I find that the project, that everybody can link their URLs and their projects. But this is a really good image. Look at that of the field. We saw different things. So let's look and see what else we have here. So let's just scroll down. As you can see, they have public hosting. And I think we have to download it by a certain date. Let's see, by June 18th, because they're not going to hold this on their servers. The GeoTIFF is 65 megabits. That's good. So uh, we could load it to Sketchfab. Uh, we have the full resolution JPEG. Um, let's just go here. It's uploaded at 109. So you see 109. It started at 112, even though it told us it would start like 24 hours later. It was due. See, it was due to start by May 20th. So I think that is the the deadline that they have for it to start. Uh, it finished like an hour later. It showed me when I view uh, normal urgency, no points, uh, no paid job. Didn't do the full 3D. That's fine. But if you look at it, I, I covered 34 acres. Average height was 289 feet. 
Um, let's see what does elevation range from 557 feet to 814 feet. Um, yeah, and the different things that we can look at. You can adjust the alignment. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, we can embed it into our website. We can see a 3D view. It's probably do that. Look at the overlap report. So 145 images, and you're going to see how many images overlap. So it wasn't that many or images on the, the outline. That's fine. And I think if we did a grid pattern, we may can update this a little bit more too. But look at this, 13 images. So this part is going to be the, should be the best. Even with that field goal, that um, field goal post should be the best right there too. But if you look at this, these this part should be really good because that's where we're going to overlap a lot. But I think if we do a grid pattern, we probably can get a little bit more. But overall, I am satisfied with this map. So I want to look at, um, let's look at the 3D. So let's go to public 3D view. Let's see if it pulls that up. It's just going to pull the 3D model. And as you can see, okay, let's scroll. Oh, look at the trees. Look at this. Look at this. Really cool. And I think, I think what I may try, and there's a lot of trees in this area if you really look around, but I think what I may try too is with web ODM. I think I can do oblique angles and with those angles, I probably can get a better 3d map. So you can zoom in some, as you can see, the map is not going to be the best here, the 3d map, because I was just doing a 90 degree angle. So it's just top down. And I think if I get a, I got a little bit closer as well. That would have been better too. Like even my car, see how flat is it? It's flat, flat my car is. And this car that was right there. Uh, these are some lights that were, that were there. Uh, scoreboards, goalposts, but still it's low resolution. Um, I think it's still pretty cool. Like this is a cool, let's give you of how this area is going to look. You can see the entire track that you can walk around and that looks really, looks really good to track. Okay. Let's go back. That was the public one. So we can do it in here. And then like you say, you need a web G web GL browser. Let's look at the private. It should be the same though. Um, I think it's the same. The resolution should be about the same. Yeah, but that is really cool, guys. Really cool. Uh, for free, right? For free, we do, let's see, 3D. You have to look at the 3D texture map. Look at that, guys. Oh, look. Oh, okay. That is very good. Very good. You can see the 3D texture map here. Scroll over. Okay. This is very nice. Very, very nice. Very representative of the area that I was shooting. This cart was riding around. So I guess they stitched it together because they were doing some, some work there. Um, but that is really cool. We can do, let's do 3D. Let's do the, let's put it on um, Google Earth. Let's see what that does. Let's see. We have to download it. Um, and I think we just upload it to Google Earth. I'm not sure with this one. Um, but let's click on it. Let's open up a Photoshop file. Okay. But I think this is the file that we, we just, that's fine. I think this is the file that we would probably just upload to Google Earth. So I'm not sure. May have to make come back with that. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's see if this computer can even handle it. Uh, being continued. Uh, many are not working properly. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. We don't really need to even look at this, but. Yeah, it just pulls a 3D image of that, as you can see. Oh, in Photoshop. Look how cool that looks in Photoshop. That is that is very cool with all of these layers. Uh, and it just pulls a 3D image in here. Cool. Yeah, it's really nice, guys. So let's exit out of Photoshop. Um, what else could we look at? Um, there's the Geo TIFF that gives you just a big uh, TIFF image. So we can download that. And I probably will download these, and I will... Um, what I'll probably do is create a Google, um, document or just upload it to Google for you guys to process it yourself. If you want to play with it, try it out, um, build your own or out. And I may just put the TIFF out there or I may put the, I may put the JPEG. The TIFF is a pretty large file, but I may just do the JPEG for you. So you can see, we'll see the difference once it loads. All right. So let's look at this full resolution. This TIFF file, look at this, guys. Look at this. Like we're all the way in. That is cool. Like you can actually see what's going on in this image. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Like, look at this, guys. This is this is why what I wanted to do with my drones. Map these areas. So, all right, guys. I think that is it. Um, I don't see anything else that we can particularly do. But as you can see, 
how we put it on here. If we zoom in, I think we can draw lines on here too. So if we go here, um, is this actually the length of this? You see the coordinates. So the latitude and longitude. Okay, let's click on this and let's do a point on this football field. 300 feet. Is that accurate? How many yards is that? 300 feet, 100 yards. So, okay, it's, it's, it's about there. I think I'm a little bit off, but that's how long a football field should be. 300 feet, I think, because it should be 100 yards. Is a, okay, but, yeah, we can just do those things, and then it will show on there. Um, but, yeah, this is really, really, really good, guys. Um, I will just continue to play around with it. So um, you can do a colorized dim. Uh, let's see how that looks. As you can see, the elevation, different elevation points of this document, of this map. But yeah, this is pretty good. All right, guys, thank you all for watching this video. Please let me know if you would like to see more areas. I'm going to do some cinematic views of this area too, so stay tuned for that video. I'm going to do some more mapping of other parks in the North Georgia region, so stay tuned to that. Those are going to be shorter videos. Uh, I'm not going to do all of the different... Um, uh, flyovers like I did on this one, but uh, stay tuned and appreciate the like. Please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.